vibration. I don't suppose anyone's told you that before, but your thoughts can either be the most powerful thing for manifestation or they can be the most destructive. But here's a really weird fact. Not all thoughts you think are yours. You see, our thoughts create our belief systems and our belief systems are woven in by other people's thoughts. Uh, sometimes we accept things just because somebody else told us so. And I think you'll find that the whole 3D system set up in order to weave in belief systems that aren't yours. So how do you find out what thoughts are yours? Well, you go inward, you listen to your intuition. I've just been recording my nine week course and I'm up to week eight and it's all about finding your soul destiny, your soul purpose, which is actually uh, identified by operating from higher self thoughts and to get there, to climb up, you have to work out what thoughts are enmeshed in belief systems that aren't serving you very well. They might be in fact attracting vibrational waves of chaos. So I want to just talk to you today quickly about the brain just being a receiver. Maybe you're in receivership, energetically speaking, because you're holding a bunch of thoughts with every file open that are other people's thoughts that are attracting the same. You see, you know how the subconscious mind cannot hear the word don't? So if I say to you, don't think about a red car, you just thought about a red car. You see? I planted a seed there very cleverly by telling you don't do something. Try this with a kid. Tell them don't touch something and see what happens. Curiosity will get the better of them and they will go and touch it. They will go and have the experiential experience. This is us in 3D density as little children of the universe experiencing things that are taboo or we're told not to and therefore we do. Uh, in order to climb out of that mess, we have to figure out what we really want to do. What brings us joy? What is our obsession? What were we born? What is our soul purpose? What is our blueprint? And what are we aiming for to make a difference in on earth using joy? Joy is a frequency. It's a very high vibrational, co-creational vibration actually. And if you're holding joy, you'll attract things that bring you joy. So if you're suffering, I'd like you to take a check on what thoughts you're holding because thoughts are a vibration that attract experiences. You see, the universe works in the same way as the subconscious brain. So if you are saying, I don't have money, you will be gifted an experience that shows you that you don't have it. If you say, I'm not healthy, you will be gifted an experience showing you that you're not healthy. You see how you've got the genie in the bottle by what you're holding? So your, your brain is just the receiver. We identify as the brain, don't we? When in fact, you're the soul having an experience within the body. You are the beneficiary of what you're holding. So hold wisdom today. Hold higher vibrational thoughts so that you attract great things into your presence. Now, for the, uh, for the longest time, we didn't know this scientifically, but what is wired together fires together. If we keep thinking the same thought over and over, we're creating a much broader neural pathway. We're making a little highway, a freeway for those things to come rushing in. No wonder we're in chaos. Humanity's in chaos by the thoughts that they're thinking. Now, it works the same. I think you'll find the elite know this. That's why we have things like the Simpson prophecies. When the collective start watching something, digesting and thinking about it, they're collectively manufacturing that. They're collectively creating an egregore for that. Once we know this as wisdom, we can shift gears by choosing what sits in our thoughts they must become thoughts that are aligned with our soul purpose. So I'm building a house. I have a blueprint that's wired within me, my DNA. I have something that brings me joy. I had that as an essence as a child. My inner child knows this very well. And then I was silenced. I was programmed with other people's thoughts and systematic thinking, which isn't my thoughts. It's just that I've received them because the brain's a receiver. So if I can go inward and reconnect with what brings me joy, 
what brings me peace, what was I born to do, who am I, why was I born, how will I help humanity, how will I bring humanity joy, well it'll be something creative, it'll be something that you're extremely good at, it'll be something that you love to do, that's your sole purpose, if I tap into that, I can then weigh up the thoughts with whether or not they align with my soul purpose. If I'm traveling on a, an aligned path, I will not entertain lower vibrational uh, other people's wisdom. I will not entertain friendships that don't align with my soul destiny. I will not entertain negativity. I will not entertain anything stealing my sacred energy. Does that make sense? I hope this helps you guys have a happy Father's Day. For those of you that don't have a father or have recently lost your father, nothing but compassion. And whilst the body dies, the energy doesn't. So know that we are only bound by our thoughts and bound by our lower vibrations. I had a, an amazing comment today uh, by somebody on my YouTube channel where I post, repost these little videos. And it's only Saturn that's bound. Saturn is the 3D density. Please know that you are a soul having this earthly journey in order to learn these things duality is just your lesson so learn quickly my friends and bring heaven to earth i love you i hope this helps see you soon